Wait, wait, wait. Well, like the Boy Scouts, be prepared at all times. I would have been happier if he opened that suitcase and I just saw a severed hand in there. He's so gross. I figure when they saw the condoms, like a homecoming gift, just like break the ice. This is who I am, girls. So it's party time. You know what? We were really optimistic, and now you just killed it. We no, really I know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Access granted. We brought a British person for you. Just for me? Yeah. Are you still nervous to see them? Let me try to see your parents. Are your dogs here as well? It's Jennifer's children. Of course they're here. We just started our fall semesters. Me and Louis are finally back together after this summer. The last time Louis and I saw each other was four weeks ago. The communication is really hard. He lives in London, so there's obviously a huge time difference, but that's only the summer, and I know it'll make up for that lost time. Oh, oh my, my favorite Mama. people! My favorite people! Mama, I miss you! you. Mom, I'm you had so happy. It's been so long. Oh my god, the dogs are barking, they want you. There's Kitty. Should I follow? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Don't, don't touch the cat because he's allergic. Away. Why? You're allergic? allergic yeah, he's allergic. How does it feel, though, the move, like, after coming back from LA? I cannot wait for it to be finished. Finished. Your dad and I are seriously trying to, like, get this house together so we make this our home base yeah. and make it a home again and make it a home that you guys will all come back and have, like, great memories here. Yeah. With moving to Florida, it's very scary leaving LA, but I get a new project. I get to create a new home in a new state, and I, I'm really excited about the changes I'm gonna make in it. Where's Dom? Oh, he went to um, go pick up something he wanted to show Louie. Oh, Louis. fun. It's a surprise. No way. Oh, it's probably a tiger or something. <laughs> tiger? <laughs> That's insane. We got the big cat out of the shop. This is gorgeous. Does it look good? You look so good in it, Sly. Thank you. Do you love you know? this car, Louis? Oh my wow, God. this is insane. The colors are so Here, get in. This is a side of Sly I've never seen before. He really wants Louis to get to know him and him to get to know Louis. They seem like they're good buddies already. Yeah, yeah. These, these cars, I feel like old cars, the seats are always more comfortable always. than new cars. These seats are meant They're to like, go to sleep in. Is it hard to drive being so long? Yeah. It, it's not easy. Take it around the track? No way. It would explode. No way. It's been in this shop forever. This is like an ongoing What project. year is this, honey? 59. Nine. Why'd what? you choose yeah. 59? 59 is the quintessential Cadillac here. A distinguished man drives a Cadillac. <laughs> well, I just ended that theory. <laughs> you just ended that? Yeah. Theory. OK. <laughs> All right, you guys have fun. Get up there, baby. What do you think people are thinking watching us walk down the street with right, the middle right now? Who's that guy impersonating Sylvester Stallone? No, they look like prostitutes next to him. Hi. Hey, how you doing? Good. Thank you. Thank you. I, I want to ask, how was that date that you went on? It was the other cool. Night? Oh, yeah. With well, mom and dad. Is there going to be a second date? <clears throat> no, I don't think so. Why? He thought I was too old for it. Oh, how the tables have turned. Did oh, that God. kill your ego? Their mother set me up on a date, and she's a lovely girl, you know. So I, oh. I hear you only date younger women, though. What is that? All that, about. That is what is true. that all about? And then after dinner, she told Jennifer, I thought Frank was really great, but he's too old for me. I mean, it is hard, but you know, that's the beauty of getting old. Like, nobody wants you. Who knew we'd all be single at the same time? What do you think uh, my dating issue is and Sophia's dating issue? I say, well, listen. Be brutally honest. This is what I think it is. I think you both grew up with two really strong parents yeah. that are really both hardworking, functioning people. Your father's one of the biggest movie stars in history. Yep. Your mother's a great business person. She's beautiful. Yeah. So it makes the thing a little thin. I think there's nothing wrong with being choosy and picky and knowing your self-worth 
for what works for you. We actually talk about this a lot, about what our next few years look like. After seeing Charlie, I'm still gonna be open to dating other people. I definitely don't wanna rule him out, but I'm still looking. She had went on a horrible date recently. She did? With some like New York, but if we're saying if we met a guy, and we moved in with him. Do you think your father hates your boyfriends now? I don't think he would care. I don't think he'd mind. I don't I think, think it don't. depends. Like, like Scarlett's boyfriend, Lewis, is like a gentleman. No, something like that. Yeah. He, not some guy like, yeah, from New York over Well, I don't here. think I'd move in with a guy from New York. Yeah, I know you over there. I asked Lewis, I said, do you have any brothers? He's like, just sisters. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy, here we go. He is. We're you. talking about beautiful young woman, and you just appeared. Oh. <laughs> uncle Frank. That's our uncle, I'm sorry. That's our uncle. Yeah, these Thank aren't my, these are my nieces, not my girlfriends. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. To New York. Are you excited for your um, first sleepover with us? Yes. All right, let's go see what pajamas you brought. These are badass pajamas. Oh, let's do it. You know what I've been seeing? There's a ton of turtles right now. Turtles? Yeah, they're so cute. Is that a turtle or a rock? It might be a, a turtle. My money's a rock. So what are you, like, growing this? Well, I try to go for the same style as Who you. Who would do something like that? <laughs> I can't take it off now. If I take it off, I look like a four-year-old. No, no, you, once it, this becomes kind of like a pet after a yeah. while, you know what I mean? I think it, it's an improvement. It doesn't the lesser you see in me, the better I like <laughs> it. So it's so weird because Dad never really was the type to get along with, you know, our boyfriends yeah. in the past. And I feel like Louie and Dad are clicking. I don't know if it's just me or I really just hope that it's happening, but I think he's really creating a really nice bond with Louis. It's a really Wait, interesting you, because most guys yeah. that come over that you brought home or your sisters have brought home are so intimidated. Usually, They're I all know. like shaking. Do you think Louis's all intimidated? I think Louis is a cool cat. Do you start it up? Yeah, I, I love this thing. It's just when I was growing up, I guess I was about 14. This was it. I'm shocked because I've never seen him say, I want to show you my car or something. And that's not like him, because he's never done that with any other no. boyfriend. Sophie and Sistine's exes? I know. Never. I know, it's so cute. Never. I think my dad has finally seen this side of me where I am so invested into this relationship, and I finally found someone that has made me feel like I can be me. So seeing him interact with him like this gives me great expectations for this relationship. So what are you up to? Back to school, going mm -hmm. for third year now, so it's, it's nice. I'm getting so accustomed to the life in America now. Is that it? I, uh, I'm falling in love with Miami, but more the culture in general. Yeah. That I think I might even stay here after college and try and find a job out here or something. Truthfully, I never really interacted with my daughter's boyfriends, mainly because I don't want to. But there's something about this kid that I just feel like he's, he's a good guy. You don't find an apartment, you can always live in the car. <laughs> With pleasure. Okay, take With off. Pleasure. I'm gonna move this. All right. 